All right, we are live again on Energy Pros hey, Channel. Here welcome we to the Energy Pros Show. Bam! Oh! Listen, guys, we have a lot of excitement here today because we are all about welcome helping. Welcome to our live. Nice to see you. Hey, Where guys. Hey, guys. This is the Energy Pros Show Daily. Right. We still got to wake up our Facebook audience. So yeah. We got Instagram. Wake up. Instagram is boom. Facebook, hello. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, fellow <laughs> Instagram <laughs> Uh, followers, we are super happy to have you because today we're talking about a really cool subject called energy independence. Energy independence requires energy intelligence. You know, it's interesting. We just talked to, to uh, one of our vendors, one of our, our technology partners, and they basically create all these apps for different companies to track everything, uh, including like all your motors, all your AC. What about that whiskey bottle? Do you remember that whiskey, the, the bottle with the whiskey company? Well, that's, that's asset management. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, there's actually... They're the intelligence, the one that they... I know, it's intelligence. You put a little... Yeah, put a get little, this, guys, a whiskey company. Yeah, they, they, you know, they sell, like, $500 bottles of whiskeys, and these, these people, like, buy them, and they get them shipped to their house. And this company says, well, we don't always know when they're done drinking the whiskey, right? How is the whiskey And I don't promote whiskey, but hey, what the hell? It's like Goya no, juice, you know? We like Goya ah, juice. You said Goya! <laughs> 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 what does that got to do with energy? It takes a lot of energy to make juice and whiskey, yeah. but... The thing is, they put a little tracker, one tiny little monitoring device a on a bottle. A little thin, little thin thing. And what it does, it actually sends back through the cloud all the data, like how many pours. And when it when it gets down to the near the end, it sends an email to the owner saying, "Hey, you need to order another thousand bo thousand dollar bottle of whiskey or five hundred dollar, whatever it is." And so the guy goes, "Oh, you know, I'm out. I'm almost out." And he goes, "Oh, that's right, boom!" And he put and he buys it. This is like high-speed intelligence on asset tracking. But also, you know, if you have five locations, 10 locations, or some of our clients are in 22 countries of the world, so they have thousands of locations in multiple countries, how do you keep track of your carbon footprint? Like, how do you know how much, how much waste you're putting into the atmosphere? And, and we found that about 40% of energy can sometimes be wasted by a company. Up to 40% of the energy is actually wasted. You know, it, it's funny, like leaving the freezer door, let's say you have a 7-Eleven, right? And you, only, and you only have like 20 or 30 7-Elevens, you know, or, or a fast food shop or a, you know, a, a, a gas station with a little mark. Doesn't matter what the name is. It's all the same problem. So here's the thing. If you have 10 to 15 to 100 or 5,000 of anything, every location that wastes 10 to 20% of energy, multiply that by the number of locations you have, and it's thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars lost every year, just wasted. Yep. Now, it's bad for the economy. It's bad for the planet. It's bad for the planet. And it's bad for your bottom line. So we're all about an energy professionals is finding ways that we can help you become more energy intelligent and more energy independent. Like some simple things. People don't realize that they look at the bill and they just look at the bottom line. In fact, we have companies that scan all their bills in. They don't even scan the second page, which tells you what you're paying for. They just want to know how much. And how much? They just Boom. pay it. They don't. They don't want to know why it's that much. Can you imagine that? And it can go up. Look at one of one of the things that we do for our customers is, uh, you know, especially on, on when you have a large bills, we go back five, six, seven, eight years on a utility bill, and we find out, and over ninety percent of the customers that we check their bills on, over 90%, we find money. Hey Jason, welcome to our <laughs> live. We, we find money that you have overpaid the utility. Nine out of 10, that means nine out of 10 people have errors in their utility bills, guys. There's errors. When's the last, like, what else in this world do you pay for and you don't know why or why it's that price? And you go to a restaurant and you just, you. You just pay. Yeah, but you don't know what you pay because for. if you pay the utility, utility is like a monopoly. So if you don't pay them, they shut your your lights off. And if you're a manufacturer, you have a business. What happens if you have a gas station and they shut your power off? You make zero money. Now it becomes how much money do you lose per hour? There are some manufacturing plants if they go down for an hour, they lose ten million dollars an hour. Yep. So now, what's it worth to know exactly what's going on in your process? and all your locations. Even if you're just a retail location and you let's say you're only spending three, four thousand dollars a month, right? Nothing. Yeah, and, and times thirty locations. This is applicable to any size business. If you have a small business and you're like, oh this sounds really technical and expensive, it's not. Huh. If, if you're a small business, 
um, then it doesn't cost a lot of money for you. And if, if you're a huge business with 5,000 locations all over the world, well, it's worth the investment because we, we can prove that the ROI on it is usually about one to one and a half years and you've already made your money back in savings. Well, not only that, but we can do things off the, off the books, meaning it's not a capital expense. It's not something you have to borrow money for. Mm. We literally make it into an operating expense so that you just pay an operating expense that's less when we get done saving you money, your total your total bill every month drops. Yeah, anywhere from ten to twenty percent. Exactly. Wouldn't make sense to do it otherwise. Oh, well, we have, you know, there's so many exciting things going on right now. I mean, exciting, scary, weird. I mean, this <laughs> is <Goya>. our, go, <laughs> Goya, What the hell, man? I mean, look at. Yeah, all I can tell you is, you can take more control of your energy bills. You can actually go green. For the first time in history, you can go green and save money in the first month of operation. And there's something to be proud of when you go yeah. green, guys. It's really well, not only does a it's, good feeling. Like I, like I said, I love to say this. For the first time ever in business, CFOs are happy, too, to go sustainable. Yeah, because it's cheaper. It's, before, it was just the chief marketing officer. Oh, my God, we got to go green so we can advertise we're green and everybody's going to love us more. Yeah, except it's going to cost well, the CFO, leg. Well, the CFO's like, well, how much is it going to cost us? And he's not how much is going to save us. It's like... How much money do I have to pay for this this arbitrary good. good feeling, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, how much did Goya have to pay? <laughs> I, I can't help it. I just, I forgot Goya was a company. Yeah, no, yeah, not anymore. Yeah. Now it's everywhere. It's I actually, I do buy their beans. I do buy their beans. They're red kidney beans. I do you really? Them. Yeah. Oh, I, do. Okay, good. I use them. Well, anyway, the, the bottom line is you can take more control over your energy bills. If you have a business of any size... You can contact us. You can literally go to our website, dump your bills into our website. Remember, there's only two things we can do with your bill. Pay it. Not doing that. Never. Nuh-uh. Not paying your bill. Mm -mm. I got to pay my own. My bill's $9,000 a month. Right now, we're, we're going through our final uh, engineering drawings for our own solar roof. So exciting. It's, we're so it's excited. excited. We're going it's, solar, I'm guys. super excited. And, you know, in, in this case, uh, the other thing is if you have to get a new roof, you might as well get solar at the same time, get a, a long-term loan. Get it, and you save money every month starting the first month, even with a new roof. And it's depending on your roof, okay? I can't guarantee that because for us it's going to work out. Yeah, well. no, it usually yeah. does. It usually does. Otherwise, usually does. Yeah, otherwise, no. Because we want to want to reduce your monthly operating cost and increase your sustainability, decrease how much carbon you're putting into the atmosphere, and prove it. Now, here's the thing a lot of these sustainable projects are, you know, businesses are promised the sun, moon, and the stars. And nobody verifies anything. That's true. Without energy intelligence, you can't ver verify. What's energy intelligence? Energy intelligence is when we set up monitoring systems and software, high-tech software, not expensive. I'm telling you right now. Very user-friendly. Yeah. It can be downloaded and monitored from your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your computer. It's super user-friendly. So even though it's high-tech, don't think it's no. complicated. And our tech partner has over 25 years' experience in facilities management. So this is not some guy, some some geek that came up and he can't I have a great idea. I have a, I have a new app. No, no, this is based on problem solving, actual real problems that you have. And not only is it cost effective for energy, and it, it was interesting, we were just talking the other day and he said, he goes, Jim, he says, you know, you keep talking about energy efficiency and saving the, the company a thousand or ten thousand dollars a month. He goes, a lot of times the problems they're having are worse than losing ten thousand dollars a month of energy because it's like the ten thousand dollars a month savings it's a byproduct yep the problems they're having on their their production lines the problems they're having with management the problems with the freezer doors being left open are, are sometimes more than the actual energy savings that we give them in addition to solving other problems like maybe the, the food that gets wasted the, by oh, having a, dude, a, a, a freezer open asset stuff management like that. just like that like you you lose a truckload of something and you go oh it's just one truckload oh that was a million dollars worth of product yeah so so it actually it's energy intelligence but it's intelligence in general helping you solve problems you didn't even know could be solved with intelligence and this partner of ours even will make you uh, a custom app for your phone to track exactly no, I love what this it is one you story. need it for they were going and I'm not going to say what it was but they have five five thousand 5000 locations in yeah. the US right and, and they had a unique problem. And they had kind of mentioned the problem. So when he showed up for the first meeting, 
instead of like saying, well, tell me more about the problem and we'll, we'll have our engineers work on it for a month. He and his two engineers sat in the hotel room the night before the meeting, created the app that solved the problem, went in and showed, okay, here's the solution. Is this what you're looking for? And everybody at the table going, it actually works. Yeah, yeah, well, I know it works. So, and he was able to make an app that was a solution to one of their uh, production problems that affected 5,000 locations. Now, how, what's that worth? Well, I can tell you this, it costs a hell of a lot less than what the company saved. Absolutely, guys. And Absolutely. so we're all about finding logical uh, solutions to your problems. And this basically now with, with a lot of our partners, we're not limited to North America anymore. So if you guys have a lot of locations and you're in a country that, that, we, can, that, that we can work with, we can help anybody. That's a pretty bold statement, yeah. but we're helping companies right now in Australia, uh, New Zealand, Indonesia. So our, our, our reach is pretty wide. Our intelligence is unlimited. Energy intelligence, baby. This is welcome to the new world. Yeah, everything is advancing. Your, your smartphones, the way you order products from the internet, like, yeah. you know, your You may not be able to trust the media news, no. but you can trust, once we put a monitor on your, on your H, HVAC systems, and we report back to the central headquarters what all 175 locations are doing air conditioning wise and you're able to control from a distance the temperature in that store because somebody true story this actually happened in, in england yeah crazy and a story thousand banks were, story. were hooked up onto an intelligence uh, energy intelligence and they noticed in one bank they had really high cooling costs so when they actually sent someone to go to the bank and say what are you doing this bank had a basement and they didn't have any refrigerator. This is a true story. The staff in the bank, in order to keep their lunches cold, cranked the basement down to the bottom of the temperature gauge. Like I don't know, it was it's like a meat locker. Sixty basement. degrees, sixty degrees Fahrenheit. They cranked the temperature down in the basement of the entire bank to keep their lunches cold. Oh my god! True story. You know, and another, and one of the in the same bank, another bank, one of the other locations, um, the lady who locked up at night was older and a little afraid and the problem is the light switch was at the back of the building and you had to turn all the lights off and walk through a dark bank to the front door not good so what did she do leave the lights on she left the lights on every night energy no. intelligence can help you find these funny but expensive situations exactly and fix them i'm telling you guys this is you know it's it's fun what we do is fun it saves our, our companies millions of dollars a year there, there are so many different things we can do, in, including on-site generation. Now, you can get clean natural gas, cheap natural gas. We can actually cut out your demand charges. Oh, my God. We can start. We can actually create an income-producing program for you using energy that you give back to the grid and you get paid for. And, and, and I'm telling you, huh? we can put this in, depending on if you qualify, we can put this in at no upfront cost to you. A lot of our services and we'll share, we'll are share that income. free consulting on most of our services and a lot of our services require no upfront costs. So guys, uh, we do have monthly fees for consultants. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. We, sometimes, we do depends, that depends. But guys, I want to uh, say it's all free. There super, is a cost, but you'll be happy with it. Super happy that you joined us on our live and stay tuned because we're coming back tomorrow. We'll talk about tomorrow. We'll come up with some new news. You can always write questions to us in the comments. Uh, Martino is my, my maverick marketing genius. <laughs> I'm just a nuclear engineer. I don't really have, you know, I don't have much to say about that. I, <laughs> I gave up nuclear engineering 30 years ago to help people. So I can tell you this. We have solutions for your problems. Give us a call. We'd be happy to help you out. See you later. Bye. Goodbye. Stay have safe. a great bye Wednesday. Bye.